And I'd like to just say a public thank you to Tara Hardy, who is a fantastic poet and, uh, and best friend, um, an amazing supporter. And uh, if it wasn't for her presence in my life, it would be a lot harder for me to bring out poems that are intensely personal and share them with other people. Uh, one of the dangers, of course, of being a stage poet or performing stage poems is the fear of forgetting the poem. Uh, having performed this so few times, I hope that does not happen to me here tonight. It might. This poem is called The Black Cordless Phone. Let me tell you about the black cordless phone that for four months held my family in its rough and buttoned hands. Let me tell you what rings and doesn't ring in the night. When two cars fist fight in the street, like young men furious stumbling from the bar, soft bodies ball up inside, like pill bugs in sticky palms. Bodies that fold that way, don't flatten out again. This event may cause two phones to ring. One phone will one tone a eulogy echoing down a dead end street. The other will wail like a hungry infant. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., whose heart doesn't leap a hurdle when a call comes at three in the morning? For six hours, an organ can exist outside the body. During those six hours, your liver isn't your liver or my liver, it is a liver fistful of squish and suckle, jobless thing, single and dying. During those six hours, EMTs pack ice, schedule flights somewhere, an ER is stocked with sterilizers, and somewhere a ghost phone rattles its chains around a haunted receiver. It might be mid-morning, mid-afternoon, or dusk, Family members listen for phones. We wait for them to shake like earthquakes set to vibrate in our pockets. We put one in every room and never turn up the television. We never drive out of spitting distance from a cell, from a cell tower. For four months, my family held our phones like they were children, like they would cry if we put them down. We slept with them kissing our pillows. They were always, always charging. I did not like to be called casually. God help you if you called me in the middle of the night. At dusk, there is an hour during which the world moves from visible to invisible, and then it's dark and everything in the house has ears. For four months, my phone never rang to tell me that a heart transplant had been found for my sister. My mother told me in person when she died. 